you want to take that 4 over to the left hand side first, so I'm actually going to write it over here and then you can make it bigger than 0. Now what you do is you just pretend that this is an equal sign and so you could factorize this and this would factorize as x minus 4 and x plus 1. Now as I said in previous inequality videos or questions is that what some students want to do here is you want to say that x minus 4 is bigger than or equal to 0 or x plus 1 is bigger than or equal to 0. I know it's tempting but it's not correct. So what you want to do instead is if this was an equal sign, what would your two answers be? Well, it would have been that x equals 4 or x equals 2 minus 1. So now what I want you to do is to draw a number line and put those two numbers on the number line like that. Then what you do is you look at this over here and you ask yourself, is what type of graph is that? Well, that is a parabola, right? And you get two types of parabolas. You get happy parabolas, which are always smiling and you get sad parabolas which are always sad. Now the way to tell if we have a happy or a sad is to look at the number in front of the x squared. If it's positive, it's happy. If it's negative, it's sad. So because this number is technically a positive one, it means it's happy. So we can draw ourselves a, a happy parabola like that. And then we need to look at this part here. It says that where is this parabola? bigger than zero, so larger than or equal to zero. So when it says bigger than zero, it means above. Let me just quickly summarize that for you. Bigger than zero means above. Smaller than zero, you guessed it, means below. So this one is above, so it's gonna be this area over here and this area over here. But now you want to get all the x values, so it's going to be all of these x values here and all of these x values over here. So the way that you would do that is you would say that x can be any number that is smaller than or equal to negative 1, which takes care of this, or now we need to do this side, x can be anything that's bigger than or equal to 4. If you prefer to do interval notation, then you would say that x is an element going from negative infinity up to negative 1 with a square bracket because we are including then you could say or or your teacher might do this funny symbol here you could say that x is an element going from 4 to positive infinity like that